in the seventh EP of GTS, we'll be talking about the cost of equity represented by the nomenclature K, right? So, this formula differs depending upon the model being used. Starting with the first model being the dividend price model, also known as the dividend valuation model, as the name suggests, dividend price. So, formula is calculated by the DPS upon MPS into 100. How share price is calculated? Because this is our dividend yield ratio for sure. It is right. Then, we have the earnings price model, also known as the earnings valuation model, as the name suggests. Formula for the same is the earnings represented by EPS, price represented by MPS into 100. How share price is calculated? That it is nothing but the earnings yield ratio. Or, how share price is calculated? That it is nothing but the reciprocal of the PE ratio. Very big. Then we have the next model, which is the Kappa model. Kappa model, we can remember it is Rf plus beta, Rm minus Rf. Rf plus beta, Rm minus Rf. Where Rm is the representative of the Rm is the representative of the market return, Rf is the representative of the risk-free rate of return, and beta is the representative of the beta coefficient. And Rm minus Rf, collectively, they are known as what they are collectively known as the market risk premium, right? And finally, we have the Gordon Bapa, which we have given the Gordon's growth model, right? Similar model, we have the dividend decision chapter. We have seen the formula. What is the dividend? Dividend basically being the D0 into 1 plus G, right? Divided by MPS, or then NP. So P0 